And welcome, woo, that's really bright. Welcome to our um, fall South Campus Choir Concert. My name is Wendy Suya, I'm the Director of Choirs here at South Campus. And uh, tonight we'll um, also um, have our fabulous accompanist, Aaron Rowe, play for us, and Nathan Thompson, who is our assistant at North and South Campus, um, doing some, some on the scenes kinds of things as well. Uh, our theme for this evening is uh, the earth and its bounty, and all of our pieces have some reference or metaphor or story that is connected to our beautiful planet. So, I don't know, it's a mindful choice, so kind of pay attention to the, the thread that links our pieces together. Uh, please turn off your cell phones or anything that makes any extra percussion or musical noises. We'll let the kids take care of that for, for us for this evening. We have SCC here that is recording our concert, and uh, we really appreciate that. I'll make sure that you get the kind of it's a YouTube link that I will email families. And um, it is also being uh, reposted on their site on the 27th and 28th at 7 p.m. and the 29th at 8.30. So you can... Turn to channel 19 and you can find the concert. I think that is it for kind of my first announcements. Uh, our first piece is Kaki Lambe, which is uh, the English transla translation is Protector of the Harvest. Come to me, come to us. And it is a Sengalese text, um, kind of uh, uh, calling that our earth and our farmers be blessed with uh, bounty and prosper.
Okay, the next uh, set is by our Corlears Choir, which is a soprano alto choir that meets second hour during the school day here at South Campus. And our first piece is Si Varias a la... Oh, I need to stop. First of all, our drums, our uh, djembe was played in that last piece by uh, Yahida Nok Chiklana, our shaker by Miriam Elias Danjama, and our conga by Nathan Thompson. <laughs> yes, yes. Si varias a la rana, uh, we have some instruments here as well, clarinet is being played by Kyle Manley, our violin, Connor Christensen, and our doombeck, Aaron Rowe. And the translation is uh, in your program, and it's very sweet. It's a traditional Jewish folk song, and um, it's, it's uh, 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 a text that is um, meant to have love and storytelling. Um, and if you read the translation, um, I think it'll, it'll make you smile. Um, Bloom, uh, the poetry in Bloom is about the rebirth and beauty and how precious it is, how precious life is, and how it kind of the flowers grow from the groggy gray ground um, for a brief time, and it embodies beauty. Lift Up Your Voice is a piece also will, that uh, Yahida Nochiklana will sing a solo in at the very end. It is in a gospel style, um, and it is... Um, kind of embodies with grateful hearts we will sing um, and sing of thanks.
Our next piece is Blue Skies, sung by our Lake Airs. And Lake Airs this year, um, and in the, actually the past few years, has been a combination of both North and South campus singers. And uh, this year we are actually performing at both concerts, which um, hasn't happened in the past. And so our North campus singers who are singing in Lake Airs are also joining us for the first and last piece because they know that music too. So um, it's just one step closer to the Unified High School. Yes, yes, good things uh, are, are ahead for sure. And our first piece is Blue Skies. It's not happening right now. Blue Skies is not what is going on outside right now, um, but it's basically turning those um, blue days into blue skies. Okay, our next set is Mariners. We're singing three pieces. We start with Sicut Cervus, which is a Latin piece by Palestrina. Um, it basically tells, the, I mean, the translations are here, but it tells a story of a deer who's searching for water um, and is desperate to quench its thirst, um, just as we need to sometimes search to quench our thirst and our basic needs. The runner is is about a runner um, and kind of walks through a journey um, of what the ground feels like under your feet and what the breath feels like as a runner and um, crossing the finish line and what that feels like. So if you're a runner, I hope you relate to this piece. Emerald Stream is our final piece and the, uh, the composer Seth um, Houston uh, wrote this with his dad when he was 17 and they were in a canoe um, on the river and um, basically just embodies that text of both the outside and, um, and um, the art of storytelling. 
and the importance of storytelling. And that's our final piece. So, Siku Chervus, the runner in Emerald Stream.
Okay, as we get ready for our final piece of the concert, um, a few thank yous are necessary. I'd like to thank Jeff back there in the tech booth who's working lights and sound. Thank you so much, Jeff Willie. All of our accompanists in terms of instrumentalists and um, our drummers and, um, and up to come here is our guitarist, Holly Flood. So all of our people who have been playing with us tonight, thank you. Thank you to the boosters who always support us. Uh, we are submitting 16 auditions for our uh, North Campus singers for our Allstate, kind of the ACDA Allstate, and the boosters covers all of their tuition for the day camp except for like 30 bucks. And uh, so it's really awesome. They support our singers both at North and South. Uh, a lot of these singers have uh, taken private lessons. They've gone to Allstate camps and the boosters have supported that. In addition, our next concert, the boosters, uh, uh, donate some money to our program so that we're uh, able to have a string quartet again this year for our December concert. So you are our boosters. That money just kind of filters through an account um, that somebody's in charge of, right? And so we really thank you for your support and for your uh, not only your your support of the singers and um, encouraging them, but um, your financial support. And we have buckets out the, out, out the door. Um, if you have any extra spare change or um, some dollar bills, we would love to take those off your hands and uh, put it towards some really great experiences for these singers. So thank you to the boosters, though, for spearheading that huge organization. Um, finally, it would, uh, it would behoove me to uh, talk about the fall musical, since I'm the director of that. Uh, we're doing Little Shop of Horrors this year, and it is at Central District Center Auditorium. Uh, it is um, the November 10th, 11th, 16th, 17th, and 18th, and uh, tickets are on sale. So there's a little flyer in the back of your program if you're interested in uh, looking up the website. It's just the District Center website, and you can purchase your tickets then. It's gonna be great. These kids, some of these kids are part of the crew, and a part of the cast, and they've been working really hard, so uh, burning the candle at both ends, but it's pretty fun. So please come and support our music department with that as well. Um, all right, our final piece is I Will Tread Lightly. Uh, basically, it's a piece that encourages you to be kind to our Earth and our planet uh, and be grateful for its beauty. Have a nice night.
I told the singers I was going to have them stay for a moment or two if you'd like to take a group picture, because I think 100 singers is kind of cool looking on stage. So if you'd like to take a picture, you can.